All right, any pain to injuries? Okay. All right, good day, everyone. This is Stephen Cheng coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. Um, you can register through ubindi.com, and um, you can find that on my website, simhayoga.com. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, prices are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. And the payment information is on the bottom of the video. And of course, again, you can go to my website for all that information. Uh, today's class will be open flow, level one, level two. Um, if you're working with any kind of special conditions, make sure that you do modify or skip poses altogether. All right, let's sit up tall. And if you need to elevate, please sit up on a block or blanket. Palms face up. Fingers come to Gyana Mudra, thumb and index fingers touching. Grounding evenly through your seat. Allow the shoulders to broaden and let your inhales even out with your exhales. Three arms together, inhale. Um. 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 Keeping the eyes closed. Hands together in prayer on front of the heart. Pressing the thumbs into your heart, heart back into the thumbs. Lifting the heart up toward the sky. Setting your intention for yoga practice. Devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself. Your supreme self that lives within your heart. Chanting the mantra for purification. Purifying the space in which you practice yoga. Call and response. Om ma pavitraha, Om ma pavitraha, pavitrava, pavitrava, sarva vishtan, sarva vishtan, tatopiva, tatopiva, yaha smarit, yaha smarit, pundrikaksham, pundrikaksham, sapashya, Sapahya, Bihyendraha, Bihyendraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes, palms face up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Elongate through the left side of the neck. That's great. And chin toward the right shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the right hand, left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. Chin toward the left shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the left hand, chin toward the chest, big circles with the head in one direction, ear to one side, roll it back, opposite side, roll the center. A few more rounds at your own pace. And take the chin back to center and pause. And then take in the opposite direction. Come back to center again. Lift the chin parallel to the floor and reach your spine. Extend the legs forward, separating your feet. Hands supporting to either side and turn your toes toward each other. And then roll out. Draw in, roll out, draw in. Outer rotation, circling. Come back to center, switch them around, inner rotations.
come back to center again. Cross your shins again, but take the opposite shin on top, the other crossing of the legs. Take the arms up high, extend. Exhale, twist to the right. Inner back to center. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bends, right hand down, left arm overhead. Take it back up, other side. Back up again, legs forward, forward fold. Take it back up. Swing the legs back behind you, down dog, and start to pedal out the legs. Walk it out side to side. All right, come back to down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose and round. Inhale, kick up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside of the right arm to touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist. Touch your left arm. Kick it back up. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Inhale. Lengthen front leg and reach up. Bend the front knee. Arms alongside. Inhale. Take it up. Exhale. Take it down. Inhale up. Keep the arms up. Bending the front knee. Warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Same thing here. Inhale, length and reach up. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Flip the front palm, reverse, warrior. Exhale, side angle. Right hand to the inside of the foot or the elbow to the knee if you need to modify. Inhale, take it up, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, all the way down to the belly. Hands alongside the rib cage. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little higher. Exhale, almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher, full extension of your arms for cobra. And release all the way down, child's pose, seat toward the heels. Down dog. Inhale, left heel up, left knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee out, off the left arm to touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist. Kick back up. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Inhale, lengthen front leg, reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Lengthen, reach up. Arms alongside. Lengthen, reach up. Keep the arms up. Warrior one. Open it up. Warrior two. Same thing. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two, inhale, reverse warrior. Side angle. Inhale, back up, reverse. Hands to the floor, left foot back plank. Lower all the way down. Three progressive cobras again. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little higher. Exhale, almost all the way down. Inhale, even higher, full cobra, and hold. Release, child's pose, feet toward the heels. Take it back up, down dog. Inhale, regular up. Right knee in toward the nose. 
Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside the right arm to touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist. Kick it back up. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Take the arms out to a T position. Draw the arms in toward each other. Inhale, open and take it really wide. Two more times. Draw the arms in. Inhale, open. Draw the arms in. Inhale, open. Stay here and lift the gaze up. Take it back up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen your right leg, triangle pose. Right hand can go to the top of the shin or to the floor, left arm up. Inhale, come all the way up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot steps back, lower all the way down to the belly. From here, we're going to press into your hands, take into child's pose, come forward, and lower all the way down. Three times. Press up, child's pose. Come up and forward, all the way down. Press up, child's pose. Come forward, all the way down. Take the hands wider, slightly further forward, and come to your fingertips. Lift the elbows up, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Press your hands to your floor, lift up higher. Lift the elbows up, squeeze your shoulders together, lift up a little higher. Elbows up, squeeze your shoulders, lengthen out the arms as fully as you can. Release, all the way down. Walk your hands back in, child's pose. And down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee out of the left arm in touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist. Kick it back up. Stepping, left foot forward. Warrior one. Take the arms out to a T. Reach your arms forward, inhale, open. Reach your arms forward, inhale, open. Reach your arms forward, inhale, open. Stay here, tilt it back and back bend. Come back up to neutral, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen out the left leg, triangle pose. Hand to top of the shin or to the floor, right arm up. Inhale, take it back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to your floor. Left foot back, lower all the way down to the belly. Press it up, child's pose. Take it up and forward, all the way down. Press it up, child's pose. Come forward and all the way down. Press up. Child's pose, come up, forward, all the way down. Hands wider, hands forward again. This time, turn the fingertips outwardly. Lift the elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades, lift up, baby cobra. Lift the elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades, lift up a little higher. Lift the elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades, lift up even higher and hold. Release all the way down through your child's pose. Make your way back to down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Right knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside the right arm in touch. Kick back up. Knee comes into twist. Kick it back up. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Wrap the right arm back behind you. Left arm forward. Bend your left elbow. Inhale. Draw the left elbow back. 
Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist right. Stay twisting. Lean forward, left elbow, outer right knee, and twist deeper. Inhale, come all the way up, reverse warrior. Extended side angle. Left palm to face down and reach forward. Half bind, left arm up and behind you. Full bind, right arm underneath you. Release your binds. And I'll come up, reverse. Lengthen out the right leg. Extended triangle. Take the left hand to the floor, pyramid. Hands to either side. Lengthen and fold. Revolve triangle, left hand stays down, right arm up to twist. Half bind, right hand behind you. Revolved half moon, bend your right knee, reach your left hand forward, tip forward and balance. Bend your left knee, revolve Chapasana. Airplane Warrior Three. So the hips are level, left knee over to left side, left arm over to left side. So you're combining the airplane with a Warrior Three. Warrior one, stepping it all the way back. Open it up, warrior two, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to your floor, right foot stepping back, plank. Now with your plank, lower the knees down. Exhale, chaturanga. Press back up into a tuck toe child's pose. Inhale, come forward, chaturanga. Press back up into a tuck toe child's pose. One more. And I'll come up. So this is really an assisted chaturanga. Inhale, take it back up. Tuck toe child's pose. Stay here. Press your toes in a tuck position firmly to the floor. Press your hands firmly to the floor and lean the weight back. So your shoulders and your arms are very active. You're getting a really nice stretch of your toes and your arches of the feet. And depending on your flexibility, maybe your knees and your quads as well. And down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Left knee in towards the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee outside the left arm to touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist. Kick it back up. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Wrap the left arm back behind you. Right arm forward. Bend your right elbow. Inhale. Draw the right elbow back. Exhale. Twist your left. Inhale. Draw back. Exhale. Twist left. Inhale. Draw back. Exhale. Twist left. Stay twisting to your left. Then lean forward. Right elbow outer left knee and twist deeper. Inhale, release, come up, reverse warrior. Extended, side angle, right palm, face down, reach forward. Half bind, right arm up and behind you. Full bind, left arm underneath you.
Release your hands. Inhale, come up. Reverse. Extended triangle. Pyramid. Right hand down. Square off. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Revolve triangle, right hand down, left arm up to twist. Half bind, left hand behind you. <clears throat> Bend the front knee, revolve half moon. <clears throat> Revolve to Pasana, binding left hand to the right foot. Airplane, warrior three. Release to step back to warrior one. <clears throat> Open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to your floor. Plank pose. Take the knees down, keep your toes tucked under, and press back to a tuck toe down dog. Inhale, come forward, and assisted chaturanga. Press it back up, tuck toe, child's pose. Inhale, forward. Assisted Chaturanga, press back up, tuck toe down, child's pose, cut one more time. Inhale, come forward, press down, press up, tuck toe, child's pose, and stay here. Firmly stretching <clears throat> your toes, your arches of your feet. Pressing your hands down, activating your arms and your shoulders. And then make your way back to your down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Open up the hips and flip the dog. Flip it back around, right leg up. Step the right forward, crescent moon. Let's take the hands with your thumbs to your lower back, fingertips point forward, draw the elbows back in space, Broaden your shoulders and press your thumbs into your lower back and really lean the hips forward and take the gaze gently up. Then take the right arm to right leg, left arm overhead to side bend. Come back to neutral. Wrap the left hand behind you to grab the inside the left foot. Mermaid one. Mermaid two. Grab the inside the foot. Flip the foot to your elbow crease and take your bind. Release, half split. <clears throat> Step the right foot back, airplane. Tuck the left toes under. Right shoulder underneath, arms out to either side. Kuniyasana two, hands to the floor. Pick up the right foot, kick it out to the side. Chaturanga, tip forward and raise your back foot. Good. Step it back down. Right foot comes back down. Shift it back into half split.
full split. Right leg forward, left heel back. All right, shift and draw the right heel in. Draw the left heel back, reverse letter S. Walk your hands over to the right, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen a little bit more, exhale, twist deeper, bow forward even more. Inhale, take it back up. Exhale, counter twist. Inhale, back to center. Draw the right heel forward so the shin is parallel to the front of the mat. Flex your right foot. Reach your left leg back. Lean to the left. Hook the tricep to solve the foot. Hands together in prayer and twist. Inhale, come back up, swing the left leg around, center your feet, ankles to knee. Good. Hands behind you, lengthen. Good, and then on the exhale, start to fold forward. If you have a little more, go even further. Maybe your hands can come forward. Maybe your forearms can come down. And start to come back up. Take the arms underneath your left shin. Release your left arm. Take the bind. So this is your four corners pose. Shift back toward the sacrum and reach your right leg forward. Start to release. Take the left arm underneath the left leg, left arm. And then right leg, support it with the right hand. <laughs> Try again. So make sure you get nice balance here. Good. Then dig the right arm underneath as well. Heels together, toes apart, palms face up, blossoming lotus. Start to release. Heels together, uh, feet together, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold.
Make your way back up with the support of the hands. Squat it. And then wrap the arms around the shin and bind the hands and fold. Release, crow pose. Walk or jump back, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Step the left foot forward, crescent moon. And just set Venus Mudra. Left arm to the left leg, right arm over the head. Yeah. Mermaid one, sweep the right hand back, grab the outside of the right foot, left arm out. Mermaid two, Grabbing the inside of the foot. Slip back with your elbow crease. Release. Half split. Step the left foot back down, airplane, arms out to either side. Kundiyasana two, hands to your floor, kick your left leg out and balance. Nice. Step it back, come back to your half split to prepare. Full split. All right, sit to one side, draw the left heel in, draw the right knee in. So the left shin is parallel to front of the mat and the foot is flexed. Lean, oh, sorry, twist your left. Sorry, twisting first. We're not taking the pigeon yet. Twist your left and start to bow forward about halfway. Inhale again at the halfway point, twist deeper, bow forward even more. Inhale, take it back up, counter twist to the right. Come back to center. Now, reach your right leg further back, preparing for the pigeon variation. You're going to lean the torso over to your right. Hook that tricep to solve the foot and twist.
start to release, coming back up. Swing the right leg all the way around, center your seat. Ankles to knee. <clears throat> Sitting up tall and start to lean forward. Once you get adjusted and you can go further, your hands can go forward, your forearms can, can come down if you can reach. Start to release, make your way up. Leg cradle. Keep the left arm underneath, release your right hand to take the bind. Then start to shift back, uh, switch arms, switch arms, the other arm, yeah, that's right. Then shift back toward the sacrum and raise your left leg. <clears throat> Keep the balance, release your binds, hook the right arm underneath the right leg and support. Then take the left leg and extend. And bend your left knee, hook the left arm underneath, heels together, toes apart, blossoming lotus. Fingers in Gyana Mudra. This time, if you want to close your eyes, if you can balance fully here. Now keeping your blossoming lotus, let your eyes open and let the feet come to the floor. Move your heels further forward and you can round your spine to come forward. Now your feet can come together here. Make your way back up, release. Draw the heels in and shift to your yogic squat again and wrap the arms around the shins. Now this time, if you bound the first side with the left hand grabbing your right wrist, I want you to switch. It might feel a little bit tighter, a little bit awkward on this side. Release your hands, crow pose again. If you wanna take a crow into a headstand, you can take the headstand. You want me to assist you in the headstand? So crow pose into your headstand. Okay, I can help you, yes? Take your crow, yeah. And very slowly, let the head come to the floor. Very slow. That's right. Good. Good. I'm right here. Good. Legs together. Yes. Elbows in a little bit. Yes. Good. Good. All right. So it's, it's, it was pretty good. I helped you very little. The key point is when you come into it, right? 
when you let the head come to the floor, you have to go very slow so that the head doesn't crash, right? Um, once you have that, make sure you're nice and still and very stable. Then you can start to lift your feet a little bit at a time. Now, if you feel like going to vertical is too much, you can keep your legs slightly forward so you feel a little safer, okay? So a little, that's right. So uh, this is what I mean, All right? Once you come forward, if let's say you don't feel so safe yet, you don't feel so strong yet, you can keep your legs this way. Because once you go to vertical, right, if you're not quite ready, you can roll forward, right? So keep it safe. Or just keep the knees bent, right? Once you come into it, stay here, right? So you can work slowly that way. All right, let's make your way back. Walk or jump back. Chaturanga, dog down dog. And then step the left foot forward, low lunge, right foot forward, standing forward bend. Feet together, knees together. Come up, chair. Stepping on the left foot, pick up the right knee, tree pose. If you like additional variations, you can take whatever you want. Maybe a half lotus, forward fold, tiptoe balancing. All right, start to finish up. Make your way back up to your tree. Step the right foot down chair, hands together in prayer. Twist to your left. You may stay here or take a side crow to your left. All right, good. Come back to center chair and then bow forward. Let's take a few breaths here. All right, bend the knees, come up to chair. Stepping on the right foot, pick up the left knee, tree pose, second side. And then taking additional variations, anything you want. All right, so I'm taking half lotus, tiptoe balance. All right, of course, if you know additional transitions from here, take whatever else you want. All righty, let's finish up. Begin to make your way back up to your tree. And then starting to break, arms up, step the left foot down chair, hands together in prayer, twisting to the right. And then side crow, if you took it on the first side, repeating here on the second side. Good. All right. Stepping back. Chair. Dive forward. All right. Bend the knees. Come up. Chair. Stepping on the left foot again. Pick up the right knee. Right hand to knee or yogic toe lock. 
extend and open to the right. For those of you with more, more flexibility, hand to heel, or even more flexibility, standing compass, best you can. <laughs> yeah, so now even if you tip over to the side, if you can hold it, that's good enough. And then you start to get taller and taller. That's okay. But careful, don't overstretch anything. All right, let's start to break. Step it back down. Chair. Exhale, dive forward. Let's take three breaths. All right, bend the knees, chair. Stepping on the right foot, pick up the left knee. Hand to knee, hand to big toe, or hand to heel, and open it out to the left side. All right, for those of us going further, standing compass, the best you can do. <laughs> yeah, I was struggling myself, so I didn't pay attention. Step the left foot down, chair. Exhale, dive forward. All right, when you're ready, make your way back. You can walk back, jump back, chaturanga up, dog down, dog. And we'll take our full pigeon, left leg up. Take the left knee in, land that shin to the floor. Measure out for your pose, elongate, and then making your way forward. And if you like your variations in your pigeon, go ahead and take whatever you want. So you can revisit those mermaid binds that we did on our crescent moon. You can forward fold into a twist in one direction, or we did it on the other side already, uh, the elbow to the, or the tricep to the sole of the foot. Maybe perhaps if you want to twist in an upright position, you can take it first into a lengthy spine with a back bend and add your twist by just taking your left hand to outer right leg or you can bind the hand to the foot. So this is like a revolved mermaid one. All right? Or if you took the bind, opposite hand and foot, left hand to right foot, and you want to go into a deep quad stretch, you can come forward, draw the right heel in toward the seat as you fold forward. So this is a nice deep right quad stretch. And because of your positioning and the resistance involved, you're also getting a strong uh, left quad, left hip stretch as well. Begin to release, make your way back up, uh, tuck the right toes under, press it back to your down dog and take lots of movement side to side to neutralize your left leg in particular. All right, come back to stillness, second side, right leg up. 
Draw the right knee in, line that shin to the floor. Measure out your pose, elongate. And then make your way forward when you're ready. Taking your variations as you like, forward folding, twist one way or the other, binding into your mermaids, same hand, same foot, or if you wanna just take a twist, right? Take the toes up to an upright position, right hand behind you to your outer left hip, and that will be a very nice way for you to twist with resistance, or if you wanna take the bind, this will be your revolved mermaid one. And then you went further for the quad stretch, square back to center, left arm comes down for support, draw the left heel in toward the seat as you fold forward. All right, starting to break. Lift it back up and then walk it back to down dog. Pedal out. All right, when you're ready, start to walk your feet forward toward your hands and take it into a seated position. Right leg extended, left heel draws back, legs are in a 90 uh, degree angle if you can, less than 90 if it's tight for you, a little bit wider than 90 if you have the range. Right hand to the floor, left arm up and fold. Inhale, take it back up, twist your left, and then side bending toward the right leg. If you can, left arm up to bind the left hand to the right foot and stack your shoulders. You're looking to rotate to your left and upwards toward the sky so the trunk of the torso starts to rotate and expose toward the sky. Now, if it's reaching forward to grab the foot, it's difficult for your shoulders and your lower back and you're beginning to collapse, right? Then better to take the left hand behind you and use that resistance to stack your shoulders and look upwards instead. All righty, start to release, make your way back up. Counter twist to the right. Square back to center, switch sides, left leg forward, right heel back. So again, try to draw 90 degrees, less than 90 if your hips are tight, wider than 90 if you have the range, left hand to the floor, right arm up and fold.
Inhale, take it back up. Twist to the right. Stay twisting to the right. Uh, side bend over your left leg. Right arm overhead, just extending or binding the right hand to your left foot. And again, if your shoulders are tight and you're beginning to rotate toward the floor with your torso, then take the right hand behind you. Use that right hand to your lower back for resistance so they can draw the front of the right shoulder up and back. So looking to rotate the front of the torso toward the sky. Starting to release, make your way back up. Keep the legs as they are, counter twist to the left. Back to center, carry the right leg forward, arms forward, lower arm to your back, recline twisting. Right knee comes in, right arm out to a T and twist to your left. Back to center, switch legs, switch arms, twist to the other direction. Back to center again, hug both knees in. Then step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward, Shavasana, final relaxation. Feet are separated, toes turns out. Toes turned out, palms face up alongside the body, eyes closed, let it all go. Beginning to draw your breath back in, moving your fingers and your toes. Reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite direction, and then rolling over to the right side and come up to a comfortable cross-legged, taking your non-dominant shin on top. Reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale from. Um. Hands together in prayer, bowing forward, sealing in practice. 
you know, come up. Namaste. Thank you for being here today. All right. Thank you for joining um, me for practice today as well. My name is Stephen Cheng, coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through ubindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, costs are $10. You can pay through Venmo or PayPal. And the payment information is on the bottom of the video. Of course, all the this information and the addresses are listed in my website, simhayoga.com. Thank you again for joining me for practice. See you next time.